Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to take a text prompt and turn it into a vector graphic. That's right, there's lots of options out there for text to uh, images, you know, Mid Journey, Dolly, they create images, but they don't create tech, uh, vector graphics. But now there's a program that does, and let me show you an example here. This is a bulldog playing poker, one that I made, and when I click on it, you'll see here all those little blue dots. Yeah, they're all manipulable. It's a properly made vector graphic. Okay, how did I do it? Simple, let's go. Illustroke.com is the answer. Right here, I'll put a link in the description below. This is the program, and it is super easy to use. It's very affordable, and I'm not being paid to say that. Use it or don't use it, it doesn't matter to me. Let me show you how it works. You guys make the decision. So here we go. Illustroke.com, you could type something in what you want. For me, I want a, a bulldog um, reading a book. I don't know, something like that, okay? Whatever it is, you can just type it in, click Generate SVG. When you do that, you get some options. You can make it in a flat style, corporate style, realist style, comic style, coloring book, et cetera, et cetera, futurist. You can also select from one of their eight artists. No, 10 artists now. They've got 10 artists here. They've got Picasso, Dali, Escher, et cetera, et cetera. And there's also three different cartoon styles, none of which are, you know, I'm going to use for this one, but I want you to know they're there. Okay, so for us, we're going to do this. And for this one, let's do it in a child book style. Why not? Again, remember, you can select them all. I'm going to go ahead and select child book style, bulldog reading a book. Maybe we're making a child's book. I don't know. We're going to go ahead with two colors. You can, of course, choose up to four, and you can adjust them in post. But here we go. I'm going to click on continue. When I come back, I'll tell you how long it took. We'll move it into Illustrator. All right, welcome back. So that took about 12 seconds. Remember, the more colors, the more it takes, the, the longer it takes, pardon me. I'll zoom in a little bit here. And okay, I don't mind these. These aren't bad. I mean, this guy's head's a little bit too square, in my opinion. And this one here... Yeah, it looks good, but the book just doesn't have definition. You're probably not going to win an award for this, but again, it's a good starting point. Let's go ahead and just move forward. We're going to select the one in the middle. We're going to click on edit, and then here you go. Now, you'll see here we selected two colors, but if we selected four colors, there would be, of course, more colors down here. Quick note, you can change the colors. If you don't like them, just click on that and then go bang. All right, now my bulldog's green. Okay, you see how this is going? I'm going to go ahead and click on download. And then you get four options, vector and then a bunch of PNGs. We want vector SVG, scalable vector graphic. Okay, good. It downloaded right here. I'm going to show it in my finder. And then we're going to go to Adobe Illustrator. So we've got it. I'm going to grab it here, and I'm just going to drag and drop it into Illustrator. And presto, we're on our way. And when I look, click on layers, you'll see here it's got a bunch of layers here. Before I click on anything else, I'm going to go ahead and turn that bottom path off because it's just annoying and it doesn't add any value. Now, is this an SVG, is this vector, or is this an image? Very easy to check. Just grab the direct selection tool, click on it. When you do that, bang, you're going to see all those little blue dots, and you know what that means. We can start making changes, whatever the heck we want to do. This is not an image. This is a vector graphic. Beautiful. Of course, you can go in there and make changes, like I said, but now... Let me show you how to go back, and if you wanted to buy this or buy tokens, I'll show you the pricing model, and then we'll just call it a day. Okay, so you'll see here I got 22 tokens left. If I go to pricing, you'll see here you get 50 tokens for 6 bucks, which work, works out to about $0.12 cents, uh, US per token. And what I just showed you there took one token, so that was $0.12. Cents. Um, and if you want to top up, they're like about $0.09 cents a token here with this growth bundle. Uh, again, I'm not being paid to say anything. You like it or you don't like it. It doesn't matter to me if you buy it or not. But this is one way to start getting some vector graphics using AI. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up.